Good afternoon, Vikes. There's only 10 days left of school. Baseball was in action last night, and we have a story on them. He your news starts now. Congratulations to Dawson Heger, Kia Broff, and Natalie Ford for being honored by the Topeka Performing Arts Center's 2017 Young Artist Awards. Aging Culture members who are attending the field trip tomorrow need to go to room 907 to see Ms. Wong. This Friday, unpaid fees, library books, and senior exam waivers need to be taken care of. Juniors who are interested in participating in next year's Social Studies Close-Up Trick there will be a meeting Thursday at 6 p.m. The meeting will be in room E2. Park and come in on the east side. Genesis Health Club is currently accepting applications for summer camp counselors. If you're interested in working with kids ages 6 to 12, fill out an application at the Genesis Health Club. Now after the break, we'll go over to Darren with sports. The YWCA is hosting a Girl on the Run 5K event on May 13th. The YWCA will need volunteers for this event to make it fun and successful. If you need any last minute volunteer hours, this would be a great opportunity for you. If you are interested in joining, you can sign up from the link on Schoology. Come out to the 5K and earn some volunteer hours. Hey, you know what I can't wait for about this summer? I can't wait just to go and play games in my school laptop. Augie, you know you have to turn your laptop in, right? Wait a minute, I do? Bruh. Yeah, you have to turn it in after your last final of the day. You need to turn in your laptop to the library. Prior to your check-in, you need to organize desktop materials, clean your device, back up your device, remove personal items, bring charger to your check-in, and have your laptop fully charged. Each grade level has a different check-in date. You know, I'll make sure I do that. <laughs> The baseball team lost against Washburn Rural last night, 4-3. to three. Today we have a story about the baseball team. The baseball team is very happy with what they have done this year. Uh, we are 12-1, I believe, and, uh, you know, playing pretty good baseball. We've had a number of uh, different events early in our season. Um, you know, some of them not all baseball related. Uh, we were able to... Uh, to take 20 of our players and our coaching staff to Florida for spring break and spend a week down there, which uh, was a highlight and uh, it was a great opportunity for our team to come together and, and have some practices and enjoy, uh, enjoy the beaches and, and uh, just you know, be around each other and, and, and spend some quality time bonding and, and doing a lot of those things that I think are important to having a successful program. And uh, I think that that's led right into the success that we've been able to have on the field. Those things, along with um, being able to play at Kauffman Stadium, uh, the home of the Royals, and, and get a win there against Washburn Rule early in our season was, was obviously a big highlight for us as well. The baseball team is hoping to win state after their loss last year at the state tournament. Uh, you know, we, we went to the state tournament last year, and, you know, I'm just doing my best to get back to it. But after uh, last year's loss versus Aquinas, you know, we really want to come out and prove that we are better than we, are la we were last year and, you know, try to make it to the state championship and hopefully win it. I think uh, we, we try to prepare ourselves uh, for those situations and, and uh, as I've told our, our teams and our players in the past that, you know, we, I don't feel like we need to, uh, to lose games in order to get better. Um, obviously, we'd like to uh, win a Centennial League championship, win a regional championship, which would give us an opportunity to play in the state tournament, and then, um, you know, ultimately to win a state championship. And, and all three of those goals are, are still in front of us, and we're in good shape through, through the first half of our season to put ourselves in a position to, uh, you know, to compete for, for all those titles still. So we're going to continue to work hard, and, and uh, hopefully we'll uh, 
we'll be able to fulfill those goals. Congratulations on your success this year. Now over to Cameron with the weather. It is currently 81 and it's now be 59. Your 3D forecast consists of highs in the 50s, in the 60s and 70s, lows in the 40s and 50s. Today, Lindsay Shaw turns 28 and it's National Clean Your Room Day. Now back over to your anchors. <laughs> hey Darren, is your room clean? No, I don't think so. Well, I went out and interviewed some other students around the school. Here's that. Today is National Clean Your Room Day, so I'm going to go out and interview some students to see if their room's clean. Did you know that today was National Clean Your Room Day? Nope. Didn't even know that was a thing. A uh, uh, national day for that, but they have a national day for everything. So, is your room currently clean? Yes, it is. I tried cleaning it last night, but I never really made it there. No. No. How often do you clean your room? Um, I mean, I pick it up occasionally. Probably like once a week. Uh, probably about once every three years. Do you plan on going home and cleaning your room? Uh, no. No. <laughs> nope. Looks like not many of you guys clean your rooms. I'm Cameron signing off. Now back over to your anchors. Wow, everyone should go clean their room this weekend. Good luck to the band tonight. That's all we have for news today. Just